Hola, mi nombre es Paco y bienvenido a otra. Weezy amigos opinión juguete. ¡Cantas horrible! Cállate poco moco. Today's toys were not purchased at a store, but rather handcrafted by Pixar Kid. Let me show you. Today's toys are... Trokey a dog and snake from the first two Toy Story films. All completely hand painted. So what do you think? This is the snake and this is the bulldog Trokia. Now if you recall neither of them, I don't blame you. They're very minor background characters within the first two Toy Story films. If you remember the bulldog had four other counterparts within him, like the Russian nesting dolls, and the snake's best friend was the robot. There's the snake with the robot, and here are the Russian nesting doll inspired trochias. As you can see, there's the bulldog, a cat, a duck, a goldfish, and a ladybug. Now, it's great that we have these now, but it was such a pain in the arse to make. You have experience with that, huh, Buzz? Can you shut up, Mr. Potato Head? I'll make fun of you for as long as I want. What are you doing, you big lizard? <laughs> Problem solved! Rex, you touch me one more time and I'll make you go extinct again. So the snake here was our first creation, so let's review him first. First, let's talk about his appearance. The rattled tail, snake-like tongue, nostrils, eyeballs, eyebrows, mouth, purple crisscross checkerboard design around his body, and his movement. Now, the actual snake from the movies is made out of some PVC plastic but here we decided to make ours out of wood. A more sturdy material for toys. He actually started off as a dull wooden snake toy. Some green spots and a design on his back. But we decided to paint him full bone green just like in the movie. The materials for our snake include acrylic paint. Oh, he just died. The materials for our snake include green paint. Construction paper, Sharpie, and Play-Doh. Now this was actually Pixar Kid's first ever customly created toy he really did not know what to expect. The original plan was to make the whole thing in Sharpie, but it just looked disgusting. So we did one green streak of paint, and by that time Pixar Kid was so excited and he wanted to finish it up. We used a light green for the whole overall body, around five coats to make sure no of the wooden color was left. We also kept referring to a picture for the tongue, eyeballs, eyebrows, and nostrils, and the design, of course. Then we got our Sharpie, a dark green Sharpie, and started adding the details such as the nostrils and the eyebrows and the rattles on the tail. Then we got construction paper and cut out the design. And the eyeballs and tongue were created from Play-Doh. And that's our customly created Toy Story snake. Now on to the more interesting one that was to create. The Bulldog Trochia. Now, unlike the snake where we had one already, we had to go out and purchase an egg-shaped thing for this dog. It was in the front of the store as leftover Easter decorations, and there was a golden egg. And we thought it was the perfect size and shape to make the Bulldog Trochia out of it. We were quickly inspired to create this one, because two days earlier prior, once we finished our snake, we questioned ourselves. What's our next project? There's been miniature versions of the snake available in stores before. We've never seen a bulldog trochia for sale, not even online. So we were very eager to create this one. Now as you can see there's multiple shades of brown. We had to do a lot of mixing and coloring in order to get these outcomes. And there is actually 12 different shades of brown on this dog. Created from eight kinds of different brown paints. But 18 colors overall. How about we run you through them? What? Caramel candy butterscotch corn. Dark chocolate. Oh no, you don't really need to. And lemon meringue tropical sunset thunderbolt. Great. Great. Now there was actually different brushes used to create this. Let me tell you the names of all of them. No! 
Now time to run you through the process. So as we stated before, this was a golden egg. We had to sandpaper it until there was a... Nothing actually, no, no colors on it. And then we ran it under cold water. That led to create a darker brownish color. Then we began painting over it, with the first layer of course being the skin color right here. See it? See it right here, right here? Please, you don't gotta point it out, it's all over his face. Hmm. Then after that we sketched on each feature, starting with the collar, then the mouth, then the eyes, then the wrinkles, then the hairs, then the ears, other ear, and the back spots of course. Now we didn't actually know what his back looked like, or even if he did have spots on his back, so we had to rely on this scene from Toy Story 2. Precisely 8.32-ish. Exhibit A, Woody. He was kidnapped. Exhibit B, composite sketch of the kidnapper. So that's how we knew he had giant spots on his back. So yeah, that's basically the rundown of the whole process of how this dog was created. We were gonna give him friendly eyes, but with teeth like that, we needed to make him look menacing. So, um, what do you all think? Customly created and hand painted, do you think we got the right shades of the character? Leave your thoughts and comments down below. I believe it's time for a 360 of these figures. No, here's a 360 of the snake. Get off, you creep! Here's the 360 of our customly created snake, which took around uh, 6 hours in total to create. It's not that prestige, but we tried to be our nicest. Now here's the 360 of our customly created bulldog trochea. This one, as you can tell, has much more colors, and we put way more efforts into this one. Were they frustrating and very difficult to create? Yeah, of course they are. But overall, we're satisfied with the results. So, how did our handcrafted toys come out? Do they look like the ones from the movie? I don't know, your opinion matters, so let us know down below. And, uh, <clears throat> you've got a friend in me if you subscribe. Thank you for watching, everybody. <laughs> <laughs>